Hello and welcome to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life. Well, you wouldn't believe this, but I've been doing YouTube videos now for over 10 years. I have. When I first started out, um, I only had a few thousand subscribers. Um, and it was quite, quite took a quite long time for my channel to actually pick up. However, with over 270 odd thousand subscribers now and millions of views, um, I've decided to have a little reflection and look back. Um, Clive's archives, <laughs> Clive's vault of paintings. So I want to look back at um, the, 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 the paintings that I'd done in the early days and, and, and just talk over them really and see see how things have changed so that's the that's the theme of this this series of painting so i hope you enjoy that and without further ado let's just straight into the videos hello and welcome and thank you very much for joining me again in the studio here in wales i hope you're all staying safe and well so i'm just getting myself a nice and comfortable today and i thought we'd use just primary colors let's go and create and have fun Time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. So a quick look at the palette. Now I say primary colours. What I'm using is a blue, a red and a yellow. Um, I am using a Prussian blue though. A Prussian blue is more of a black blue rather than a blue blue. You need to use a, like a neutral type of blue. Um, you don't want any bias. Something like cer cerulean blue uh, is, is a green bias. Uh, ultramarine can be green or red biased. So you need something like the primary blue. Without further ado, let's just moisten the brush. Now I like to moisten my brush first. I like to get, I like to get that moisture into the bristles. You shouldn't really rub it with your fingertips because of grease, but you know. Just moisten your, moisten your brush, moisten your brush, moisten your brush. And I thought today, I'm going to go straight onto a gesso canvas. I'm just going to pick up some yellow and some white. So I've got a little bit of white and a touch of yellow onto my brush like that. And I'm just going to put in a nice... I'm going to paint from bottom to top today. Because so, we normally start up there, don't we? We normally start up the top. But I thought we'd start from the bottom today. There we are. A little bit of white, a little bit of yellow. On a nice line like that because I got an idea to to make some sort of a beachy type of scene today this is going to be a very quick lesson today I hope we never know we never know okay so I'm just going to take the paint off the brush I got a little bit of red I don't want too much on there so I'm taking a little bit off and I'm just gonna crisscross some color because it's still a bit wet now the gesso I put on the canvas is going to soak it in very quickly so you need to you really need to work fast a little bit more yellow maybe just on the brush like that And get a bit more yellow on the brush increase the yellow round about that area there like that we've got that nice warmth coming in like this we get a little bit of white now just on the tip of that brush and this brush I'm using um, is a size 20 short flat actually just a 20 short flat There you go. I want to get a little bit of sparkle coming down because this is our water. There we are. A simple, effective, something you could do on a craft fair or a show, whatever you want to do. Something you can paint. And you can see I've got a couple of fan brushes there. This is the dirty pan of water where I wash the brush a little bit of soap and then I just rinse that out 
in there like that and I take the moisture off the brush take the moisture off the brush simple <laughs> so let's get some more yellow just pure pure yellow now pure pure yellow just going across there like that a bit more yellow there like this now if you find your paint is starting to um, stick a little bit what you need is one of these little fine mist atomizer bottles and you can just just squirt damp down your damp down your your your, your, your palette or cardboard this is cardboard today it is a little bit of white now back into the white bringing that white back in to that area like this Bring it in. So we've got a difference in colour, a tonal difference in that yellow. You can see there's a tonal difference definitely in that yellow like that. So all we're doing at the moment is just painting bands of colour. See how lovely that looks? It certainly does. We really do need to to wash your brush now because we don't want any contamination we don't want any contamination in this so we need to make a little bit of orange yellow and orange yellow and red sorry makes an orange so a small 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 amount of red whatever red you've got just to make a nice orange be very very careful the amount of red you put in you can see there was only a small amount on that there was only a small amount of red Again, there we are, small, just on the tip, look. Got to be careful, got to be careful. Because we need to put some orange in. And I'm doing this cross stroke like this. Very, very quickly. There we go. Nice warm, a nice warm pink in. For a cold day you're in Wales today. A nice warm painting for a cold day you're in Wales today. Now we're going to increase the red just a touch. Because I want this quite warm. I want this quite warm. Again. Into that area there like that. So we're painting from bottom to top today. To get that nice blend of colour there like that so we need a bit more red now let's get a little bit of this blue this is Prussian blue because I want to darken the red I want to make that red into a more of a crimsony type of colour so just the smallest amount of blue into that is going to darken that there you go and what I want to do is take the excess off my brush. I'm going to grab my Mr. Bottle. I'm going to wet down the top of my painting. And I'm going to put a bit of that in. Like that. I want to bring that into that colour. Blending it in. Don't forget to do that crisscross stroke like that. Ooh, nice. And then a little bit more blue. A little bit more blue. So we're making this into like a, a red type of violet quite a dark colour now we're getting that sunset type of sky look whoa lovely 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 we're getting our warmth in the sky a little bit more up that top corner there like that bringing all that together now I'm gonna put that brush down I've got um, a, a fan brush here and this is a, a, a man-made nylon fan brush what I'm gonna do is just spray the canvas a little bit with some mist and then I'm just gonna get that fan brush and just Merge all that together like that. Shh. 
There we go. Now, if you wanted to, you could darken the sky even more, and you could flick a few stars in there. Maybe you could. It's like as if it's, um, you know, going into twilight or something like that. So I'm just going to dry that very quickly now. So as our background is completed, as our background completed. I'm just going to stand, you shouldn't stand it with water, brushes in water because you can damage them, but um, I'm not going to wash all my brushes immediately out. Uh, I got a little, um, I got, I know I've got one here somewhere, there it is, there's a little tiny fan brush there. Not a fan brush, a uh, filbert, sorry. Is it a filbert? No, it's actually a short flat, a bit of white, a bit of white. I'll just make a little circle like that. A little circle, easy, easy, easy. A little bit of yellow, just get a little bit of yellow in there. Make that side the sun. There's that sun. There's that sun. And then get a little bit of this, this dark color. Put a few little stringy clouds in the sky, just like that. You'll see these clouds in the sky, definitely see these clouds in the sky on a sunset. We do you in Wales anyway, when we do get sun, it can be quite pretty. There we are, I don't do any more than that, you get the idea. Yes, you do. So, let's get some Prussian blue and some red. I want to make this a really dark colour. I'm not using any black, just Prussian blue and red. There we go. Nice dark colour. Now, I'm going to put in a little bit of land. There we go. Just a little bit of land. A bit of headland. There, like that. Something you can play with. Something you can play with. And that's what that's what painting's all about sometimes. Is just just getting brush. Getting the Paint off the brush, just a little bit of a dry brush like that. Getting some of that yellow and white. A bit of white, bit of white, bit of white, bit of white. <laughs> so let's get some more Prussian blue, a bit of red, more Prussian blue and a bit of red. And now let's put a little bit of land here like this. Maybe, maybe we got a, a bit of a beach or something coming on there. Who knows? I don't know. You just make it up as you go along. And that's what it's all about sometimes, it's, it's about making it up and having fun. And seeing what you can come up with, with some basic colours. Now if you wanted to, you could put a little bit of burnt umber into the, into this mix and it'll, it'll go quite black. But I'm quite happy with the, the purpley type of colour that I got there. I think that's in keeping with the orange, because purple and orange are complementary colours, and they really work well together. 
they really do and you've seen me doing this before I got a little plastic card um, just be just happens to be a Holland and Barrett card and um, I'm just gonna just put a few little rocks and things just a few little shadows just through here and there like that just to make it look it could be possibly some rough texture or some grasses and um, who knows just make it up as you go along I normally do I never have a plan so we got some different um, fan brushes um, and you'll see sometimes that fan brushes will splay at the edges like that and you've got bristle ones you've got man-made ones and you've got um, a mixture of both and you can be you can spend a lot of money on on these things but any old any old fan brush will do try not to get it too wet and make sure that when you when you load your fan brush make sure that you you push it like that get that paint right in to those bristles use a small amount of fluid whatever you use in whether it's water or or anything like that like that because what we need to do now we're going to put a a line like that and we're going to put another little line like that there we go and then we're gonna go just out like that and just pull a few little branches out like that and then we could put another little branch like that and then we could put another one just there Like that. Try and make a, thi a thinner one now. There we are. Just practice. Again, don't worry about a palm tree as such, because at the end of the day, all every palm tree is different, isn't it? They don't all the, the leaves and the, and the branches and these palms, they don't go. In the same direction all the time, do they? So just use your imagination and just uh, let yourself ride with it a little bit. There you go. You get the idea. I don't need to do much more than that, but you get the idea. We make that trunk a little bit wider like that, and you can get your card and. Just put those little marks on. Just like that. Because they got that sharp thing, haven't they? You know those you know you know what the you know what the trunk looks like, you should do. Anyway, I'm gonna get a detail brush now. Because all I wanna do is just put a few coconuts just on. Or representations of coconuts. There you go. And there is one easy, one easy, if I do say so myself. Let's just get a fan brush before I finish. And don't forget to click the, the subscribe button. If you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to click that subscription button. Um, and don't forget to click the notification bells. Otherwise, you'll never get notified because even though I still get people asking me do I upload web videos on a regular basis and my answer to that is yes, every single Monday without fail and I have been doing for several years now. So I just put a little bit of foam coming up onto there like that and there's one wonderful, simple, easy little painting that you can do, I'm sure, with your skills. I know you can do it. Get a brush, get creative. And I'll see you again here in Wales for another lesson next week. And don't forget to click that subscribe button. Bye.